Kelly Whitman was your average girl in most respects. She was in eighth grade. About to enter high school. She hung out with friends and went to the movies. Went shopping. Normal things for her age group. But she was alone among her friends in one respect. She wanted to remain a child. She had always had these feelings but now that she was about to enter high school. They were much stronger. There was no doubt she was getting older. No more middle school. She was to be a high school student. She envied her younger sister, Jessica, who was still in kindergarten. In fact, she would often play dolls or house with her sister and her friends instead of going out. She was considered a big little girl jokingly by her sister's friends and accepted as just another playmate. They even made her try on her sister's nightgown that used to be hers when she was younger. They all got a good laugh but she almost cried since she had missed that nightgown so much. She was still small for her age. But not significantly smaller than the other girls and she certainly wasn't the smallest. She did, however. Still have her little girl cuteness. Which had yet to mature into a woman's figure. She often wanted to be the little sister. To be even younger than her sister. She wasn't sure what to do. But she had to do something. Jessica came skipping into Kelly's room one Sunday morning and jumped on her bed to wake her. Hiya sis. Morning. Hey, you wanna go play at the park today? Please. My friends and I wanna go and mommy said it'd be okay if you took us. She looked over at her clock. It was just about to turn eight. She yawned. Jessica, how do you get up so early and have so much energy? Jessica just smiled. I've been up watching cartoons since seven. Mommy said you used to be the same when you were little. Kelly realized that was true. Where had her youthful energy and anticipation for a brand new day gone? She sighed. All right little girl. Get dressed and I'll take you guys. Jessica smiled and kissed her sister before hopping off her bed and running down the hall to tell her friends who had slept over the night before. She didn't have much time to dress or eat since the girls were all hurrying her. She threw on a sundress combed her hair and managed to grab a banana before she was pushed out the door. She joined the six-year-olds in holding hands and skipping down the sidewalk to the park. Once there, Kelly sat on a bench to watch while the little girls scattered across the vast playground. She soon heard crying. Followed by the firm. Yet soft voice of a mother. Andrea. How could this happen again? You're a big girl. I'm sorry. But I don't treat my children differently. You have the same punishment. I give your little sister when she does this. Kelly looked over and saw a young girl crying and trying to hide her obviously wet skirt. Kelly imagined that the girl must have begun having a wetting accident and panicked. Trying to stop it and pressing her skirt onto her panties. Accounting for the soaking wet garment. Kelly watched on as her mother gave the girl a hug. It's okay sweetie. I know you couldn't help it. But I told both of you that if you wet your big girl underwear, you have to go back to diapers until you learn. Amy wet herself last week and had that punishment. So I can't treat you differently or Amy will think I'm not being fair. I know you're older. But an accident is an accident. You just have to stay dry for a week and the diapers come off okay. That's the punishment as you know. Just call me when you have to potty and I'll take the diaper off so you can use the toilet like a big girl. If you wet the diapers. It adds one more day to the punishment. If you poop them, it's another week. But I highly doubt you will have to worry about that. I love you sweetie. But I know it works since I used it on Amy. Okay honey. Do you understand? The girl nodded and the mother hugged her tighter. That's mommy's good girl. Now let us go to the car and get a diaper on you and change your wet skirt so you can keep playing. It's okay honey. I have your longer skirt in the car so no one will know you are wearing diapers. Kelly watched in amazement. I didn't know punishments like that existed for older kids. I wonder. 
No, I'm much too old. But mom did put Jessica back in diapers like that when she began to wet again. I suppose it couldn't hurt. But it's so embarrassing. But then again. Kelly was going back and forth in her mind when she felt the skirt of her dress being tugged at. Sis. Sis. I have to go. Where's the potty? Kelly hurried her sister to the toilet area and let her do her business. She felt a need to pee as well but she figured she'd hold it for now. Kelly and Jessica walked all the other kids back home after the park and then decided to go for a walk. At this point, Kelly was really struggling to hold it but she didn't let on to her little sister. She had been thinking and she decided that it wouldn't hurt to begin having accidents again. She thought that having them in front of her little sister first as opposed to her mother would be the best thing to do. She just had to work up the courage first. But she had to make it look like a genuine accident where she doesn't feel it coming. So she had to refrain from squirming. She was getting to the point where she couldn't help it much more so she needed to do it now. She took her sister's hand and ran to a part of the small section of woodland surrounding their community. Jess, listen. I thought I heard something in the woods. She knew her sister loved animals and it was a secluded place so it would do nicely. As her sister looked into the trees, Kelly let go of her control and for the first time since she was in diapers, she started wetting her panties. It felt so weird to her. The pee streamed down her legs and since there was so much pressure, the fact that she was peeing her panties could be heard but she pretended not to notice and let her sister tell her. This was the moment of truth. Jessica heard something weird as she was excitedly looking for the animal her sister had heard. She knew the sound well from her wetting days as a younger person and nervously lifted her skirt just a little. Her panties were dry to her relief. She turned around and gasped. Her big sister had pee running down her legs. She was having an accident. She didn't want to embarrass her sister so she tugged at her skirt and got her attention. What is his lil sis? Jessica couldn't find the words to say so she just pointed under her sister's skirt. Kelly looked and turned red immediately. No. I can't be peeing my panties. She began to cry and press her skirt up against herself to try to stop the flow. But that only succeeded in getting her outer dress wet too. She was crying and Jessica hugged her. It's okay sis. Everyone has accidents. Let's go home. We can go through the woods so no one sees us and you can change. I won't tell mommy. Promise. Kelly hugged her sister and nodded. They got home with no problems and since their mom was outside in the garden. Kelly got new clothes without being noticed. Kelly was red with embarrassment even though she meant all along to do it. But it did make her feel like a little girl. Even like a little sister since Jessica had to take her home and get her out of her wet clothes. She knew she had the courage in her to move towards being diapered again. But it still wasn't going to be easy. She just wanted to be little again. And being put back in diapers seemed to her like the littlest thing she could have done to her. Sis, you have never wet yourself. Even being potty trained mom says you always stayed dry after you got big girl underwear. How come you wet yourself like you didn't even know it was happening? I don't understand. Kelly looked at her little sister's inquisitive face and began to think of an excuse. Her sister wasn't one to ignore her curiosity. She decided just to stick with total denial that she knew what was happening. I don't know sis. I really don't. I had no idea I needed to pee so bad. I mean I felt like I had to go a little. But I didn't think I was anywhere close to wetting myself. My bladder just let go and I peed myself without even knowing it was happening. Kelly tried her hardest to make tears come out and it worked. Kelly, it's okay. I didn't want to be mean. I just wanted to understand. So it really was one of those sneak ones that I used to have. Just like a toddler has. Not that I mean you're a toddler. Kelly giggled under her breath. It's okay sis. I'm sure it's just a one-time thing. Jessica smiled and ran off to play. 
Once Jessica had left Kelly alone. Kelly went through her sister's closet. I know mom kept it here somewhere. Ah. She pulled out a plastic mattress cover. Tomorrow morning would be interesting. That night, Kelly stayed awake in her bed until 2 a.m. When everyone was sure to be asleep. Then she quietly affixed the mattress cover over her mattress. She didn't want to ruin her good mattress. She decided that in the morning she would confess to her mom about her accident in the woods. She would say that she was nervous and put the cover on just in case. She put her sheets back on and got into bed. She thought it appropriate that she had used her old little girl sheets to make her bed up. She was certainly not going to be a big girl tonight. She squirmed and clamped her legs together. She had been holding it for a while. She laid on her stomach and hesitated a minute before stealing her will and letting go. She felt the warm wetness gush into her panties and begin to soak the bed and her nightgown. She felt incredibly toddlerish and little as the warmth spread even further. She wouldn't be able to hide it now. Of course. She hadn't thought that she'd have to spend the rest of the night in a pea-soaked bed. She reprimanded herself mentally for being so stupid and tried the best she could to go to sleep. She woke up to shaking and a little voice pleading with her to get up. Jessica was terrified that their mother would find Kelly's latest accident any minute. Her whole bed was soaked. Kelly opened her eyes and smiled. Jessica wasn't smiling. Get up, please. You wet your bed. We have to clean this up. Kelly got up out of bed and felt the cold dampness of her nightgown against her body. She had really done a number on the bed. Suddenly they heard a gasp. There was Kelly. In a wet nightgown in plain view of her mother. Kelly didn't plan it. But for some reason, she began to cry like a toddler who just had an accident. Through tears, she explained about yesterday and everything else to her mother. Saying that she had no idea about any of it. Her mother was kind but did decide to make an appointment with the doctor. Who of course could find nothing wrong. Kelly's mother didn't know what to think. Her oldest daughter was acting like her youngest. She had a talk with Kelly in the kitchen. She explained that she had to try to use the toilet as much as possible and not drink anything before bed. No diapers were mentioned. Kelly decided to drive home the point even further and as she was walking away she let her bladder go again and soaked her shorts. Her mother didn't yell. She simply hugged her daughter and told her that everything was going to be okay. Jessica sweetie, I need to talk to you. Jessica looked up from playing and saw her mother. Kelly. Just had another wetting accident. I don't know what to do. You need to start watching out for your big sister. Jessica looked confused. What do you mean mommy? Her mother sighed and went on. I mean, don't be afraid to treat her as a younger sister really. Ask if she needs to use the potty if I'm not around. Often. Like you would a toddler. If she looks funny and you think she is about to pee. Take her hand and run her to the bathroom. Then tell her to sit and try to go. I know this sounds weird to be doing to your older sister. But I think she needs it. She can't keep wetting her pants. I'm going to get her training pants. They might help. Okay sweetie. And don't make fun of her. Jessica nodded, I understand. I'm gonna be the best big sister ever. Her mother smiled and gave her a kiss. Now go watch her. I'm going to get some training pants for her. She still should be able to fit into the toddler ones. Maybe even the largest diaper for toddlers. But anyway, I have to go. Jessica hoped down and ran to find her sister watching her mother had been gone for 20 minutes. She approached her sister and nervously began her new big sister-like duties. Um, sis. Do you need to potty? Kelly looked at Jessica with a shocked expression. She was being asked just like a toddler. She did have to but she shook her head. No. I'm fine. Jessica needed and sat down with her on the couch. Soon, 
She heard a peeing sound and turned to see Kelly wetting herself on the couch. She moaned and suddenly all her nervousness vanished. Sis. You are wetting yourself again. Come with me. She took a surprised Kelly by the hand and led her upstairs. I'll help you take your wet pants off. She did so and got out a skirt and told Kelly to put it on. Now sis, please tell me if you need to use the potty okay. I'll take you when mommy's not around. Kelly felt all at once like a very little child. She was inwardly bursting with happiness. The happiness only increased when she saw her mom bring in a package of Huggies training pants and told her to sit on the bed. She proceeded to pull off her panties and put on a pair of pink and white training pants. She was explaining why she was doing it and that she would let her go back to big girl underwear if she stayed dry. But Kelly didn't hear any of it. She was too happy. Over the next week, Kelly had multiple accidents. In fact, she rarely peed in the potty. She now ran around the house in just her pull-ups and a top like a toddler and started calling her sister Big Sis and her mom Mommy. Of course, her mother was concerned, but not as much as she would have thought. She liked having her little girl back and besides. She seemed much happier. And Jessica was a terrific big sister. Recently, Kelly had been wanting to go play at the park. Her mother said no at first since she thought Kelly might be too big. But Kelly started to cry and her mother felt horrible. Jessica began to speak up on Kelly's behalf as well and their mother finally relented. She figured it wouldn't hurt. That Friday, they went to the park. It was sunny and beautiful. Kelly was skipping along ahead, urging the others on. Jessica shook her head. Kids, she said with a sigh. Her mother couldn't help but laugh. Once there, Kelly began playing immediately. Jessica followed her around while their mother sat and watched. Jessica asked Kelly often if she needed to go and it was always followed with a no. After a while, Jessica felt a tug and turned to see a blushing Kelly. Jessica knew immediately and put on her best big sister smile. Did you wet your training pants? Kelly looked down and nodded slowly. It's okay lil sis, said Jessica. You can't help it. But I think you leaked a bit. Jessica pointed to the sand below where Kelly was sitting in the sandbox. It was a bit wet. Lucky you were wearing a skirt, huh sis? Kelly giggled and nodded. Kelly then realized that she had to poop. She wondered if she should use the training pants. That would earn her diapers for sure but she decided to take it slow and just make it look like she realized and had an accident on the way to the potty. She put her plan into action. Jessica, um. I need to go poop. Jessica smiled and took her hand. Okay, come on sweetheart, I'll take you. She lead Kelly toward the toilets. Suddenly she heard Kelly groan and let go of her hand. Sis, what's wrong? Kelly started the tears. Sis, I can't. She spread her legs a bit and squatted like a toddler would do and began to fill the training pants. Jessica knew what was going on and she couldn't find the words to say anything. She just stood there in shock as her sister pooped her pants like a baby. Afterward, Kelly fell to her knees crying her eyes out. Jessica snapped out of her state of shock and ran to comfort her sister. Already, the telltale odor of Kelly's accident was present. Sis. It's okay. Don't cry. I'm here. She hugged her sister tightly. Their mother ran over after seeing Kelly on the ground crying and soon got the story of what happened from Jessica. Oh honey. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. I had a feeling this might get worse though. Hey. Don't cry. You're my little girl and I love you. Come with me. Jessica, you too. Their mother took Kelly's hand and lead her not into the ladies' bathroom, but into the baby changing area. There was no one in there and Kelly was soon laying on a changing table in her training pants. Now sweetie, I think you know what I'm going to do. You have shown that you need diapers again. This is not so much a punishment as for your own good. If you are going to wet this much and poop, 
The training pants won't do. Are you okay with this? Kelly nodded, trying to hold back her excitement. Okay then. Lift your legs up sweetie. Kelly did as instructed and before she knew it she had a pacifier in her mouth. Her mother just smiled at her confused expression. It'll calm you down, is all she said. She ripped the sides of the training pants and pulled them out from under her daughter. Now Jessica, watch closely. You might have to change your sister okay? Jessica nodded and her mother then pulled baby wipes and a Huggies diaper from a bag she was carrying. Now I know why she had it at least, thought Jessica. She cleaned off Kelly and put some baby powder on her as well. Kelly was about to protest how babyish she smelled but her mother saw it coming and put a finger to her mouth to signify silence. Just calm down Angel. Don't worry about a thing. She then slid the diaper under her, bringing the front up and fastening the tapes. Kelly felt incredibly babyish. Laying there in a diaper. Her mother patted the diapered area affectionately. All done sweetheart. Now you go play with your sister. And I don't want to hear a word about your diaper showing. Your skirt should cover it and besides. You look cute. And you obviously are my cute little toddler again. Kelly's mother smirked and indicated the waist bin the dirty training pants were thrown into. Before Kelly said anything. Jessica grabbed her hand and lead her out of the changing room to the playground. Their mother just stood there smiling. Kelly remembered to take the pacifier out of her mouth just as Jessica threw open the changing room door. Close call, that one, Kelly thought with a sigh. Jessica was now even more protective and watchful of her sister. She noticed Kelly didn't seem to mind the diaper. It didn't show unless you knew what you were looking for with her skirt on. Even if it was bulkier than the training pants. She played with her sister and seemed to be loving it. She was very self-conscious about her diaper despite all of this. She tried to sit for as long as she could, since the skirt covered the diaper better then. When she did have to stand. She always made sure to hold her skirt down in case any random gust of wind would come by. Her sister and her mother noticed that it decreased her enjoyment too much. Jessica tried to make her lighten up and her mother thought of ways to make her daughter feel more natural in her diapers. All her mother wanted was for her girls to be happy. If Kelly want to be her little one again, so be it. But she would not let Kelly take it partway. This was not to embarrass her, just to make her the happiest she could be. And at this moment, Kelly's fear of embarrassment was taking away from the fun she should be having. She watched her children and continued to think. Meanwhile, Jessica was coaxing Kelly down the slide. Come on Kelly. It'll be fun. Trust your big sister. I'll catch you at the bottom. Jessica was standing at the bottom of the slide with her arms open. As you would do with a young child to make sure they didn't get hurt, and Kelly was at the top. She giggled a little and blushed at being called the little sister. But Jessica. What if someone sees? Kelly indicated her diaper area to her sister since lots of people were around and she didn't want to broadcast that she was in diapers. She was holding up the line and despite trying to hide her diapers, she still looked like a scared young child afraid to go down the slide. Oh, sweetie. It's okay. I promise it'll be okay. Kelly finally nodded and sat down. She put both hands on her skirt and clutched the end down and was about to go when an aggravated little boy from behind her pushed her saying. Stop being a baby and go already. She moved her hands because of suddenly being pushed forward and the skirt flipped up as she slid down. Her sister caught her and saw that her eyes were wet and that she was about to cry. It's okay, no one saw your diaper sis. Don't cry. Everyone was watching their own kids. Kelly shook her head and said. I know, but I was just scared cause that meanie boy pushed me. Kelly clung tighter to Jessica and cried. Jessica was confused. Her sister had suddenly begun to act younger. She could tell by her word choice and the fact that she was hugging her tightly and crying. Despite this, Jessica suddenly felt very much like the older sister and was outraged that someone would do that to her little sister. 
She walked Kelly over to their mother and once she was secured, went over to the boy that pushed her. Why did you do that? You could have hurt her. The boy looked at Jessica and frowned. Huh? Do you mean that baby on the slide? She deserved it. She was holding up the line. Jessica got even angrier. That's so mean to say. So what if she was scared? She's only little. I'll bet you got scared too when you were little. You probably wet your pants on the way down. The boy turned red because his friends were listening and started making fun of him, asking if he was wearing diapers. He ran away crying and Jessica smiled and walked back to her sister and mother. Kelly was in her mother's lap being cuddled. My poor little angel. Are you okay? Does anything hurt honey? Kelly shook her head no and snuggled closer to her mother. Kelly's mother noticed as Jessica did that Kelly was acting much younger. Maybe it was the shock of being pushed along with everything else that happened today. Either way, she enjoyed having her little girl back. She used to cuddle Kelly like she was now all the time. You wanna go play more? Kelly again shook her head no and buried her head into her mother. She was obviously scared. Her mother suddenly noticed her leg was getting warm. She realized that she had Kelly's diaper sitting on it and that she was wetting it. She thought she would be finished soon but she kept going. Must have been all those juice boxes she drank while she was playing. Soon, her mother felt something wet. She put Kelly on the ground and got up in shock. Her daughter's diaper was leaking. Kelly knew it too and stood there crying as P ran down her leg and onto the ground. Kelly's mother took a baby wipe from the bag she was carrying and wiped her leg off and then tried to calm her daughter down. Jessica was there as well and hugged her sister, telling her that it wasn't her fault. The diaper just didn't hold. Kelly's mother took her hand and lead the crying girl away from the staring eyes at the park. Oh sweetie. I'm so sorry. I should have known those diapers wouldn't hold that much. It's my fault. Kelly settled down a bit and wiped off her eyes. She said that it was okay and hugged her mother. Her mother found a more isolated spot in the park and laid out a towel she had in the bag. She then laid Kelly back and took off the now wet skirt and put it to the side. Ignoring the protests she got. She told Kelly that it didn't matter now. Everyone knew she was wearing diapers. And began to change her into dry huggies. Since her skirt was wet, her mother said that she would have to walk home in just the diaper. She put the pacifier in Kelly's mouth and smiled. Suck on this sweetly and look innocent. That way we'll just tell people that you are going to a costume party okay. Kelly blushed but nodded. They headed home and made it without incident. The only thing they got was compliments. Everyone thought Kelly looked adorable and that she could look even better in a more childish top to complete Once the costume. They were home. Kelly's mother sat down with her and Jessica in the living room. Okay, I know today has been a lot for the both of you but there are some more things we need to discuss. First, Jessica, thank you so much for watching out for Kelly. I know it's a lot in a short amount of time. Jessica hugged her sister tightly. That's okay. I love taking care of my little sister. Kelly smiled and blushed. Feeling content and happy. Their mother smiled, you're such a good sister Jessica. I hope you can stay that way since your little sister needs you more than ever now. I say little sister because that's what we are going to discuss. Kelly honey, you want to be little don't you? Mothers can always tell sweetie. Kelly turned bright red and nodded. Her mother and sister both smiled. I knew it. And don't worry honey. I'm not mad. I love my girls no matter what. I want them to be happy. I don't know if you like so much being put back in diapers. But you need them hon. And you do look cute. Kelly felt guilty about lying to her mother about having accidents when she purposely had them, but she couldn't let on now. Besides, her mother seemed to be enjoying it for some reason. So, her mother continued. You are now my little girl again. Kelly. I'm going to treat you as such. 
but only if it makes you happy. Not to embarrass you. You will not be a total toddler. However, you will be treated a little more grown up. But like a little girl that needs diapers nonetheless. For instance, I won't talk to you in baby talk. But I will talk to you and address you as a little girl. You won't have to wear baby clothes unless you want them, but your clothes will be much more childish and cute. I won't put any restrictions on how you have to act, but I'm sure you want to act little as well. And you will be in diapers. That's just for your own good. I don't want you to be embarrassed by wet or messy clothes. I'm going to get you cloth diapers and plastic panties. They will be a lot thicker but the ones you are in now obviously don't hold up. You won't leak and that's what you wore when you were younger as well. And you don't need to ask to use the potty anymore, even if you know you need to go. That's what diapers are for. Even for number two. I don't mind changing dirty diapers. Also, you are going to ride in a car seat unless others are around unless you don't care. And if you want. I can even get you a stroller for walks in the park. But I won't force you. And I don't want you embarrassed about your diapers. Please don't mind them and have fun. Okay sweetheart. You got all that? Kelly nodded and then suddenly stood up. She got a weird look on her face and looked at her mother with questioning eyes. She smiled. What did I say, sweetie? Just use the diapers. Kelly nodded slowly and filled her diaper. Afterward, she looked red-faced at her mom and her mother smiled. That's my good little girl. Let's get you changed, sweetie pie. Kelly smiled. Things were going to be different. That was for sure. But fun all the same. Kelly was having a fun week. Ever since her mother had that little talk with her. Things certainly had changed. She was the little girl of the house now officially. And she loved it. She was very slowly getting over her fear of wearing diapers in public. Luckily, the Huggies has held up for the most part. They only leaked at night and once when she was in the car seat riding home. So all in all not too bad. She felt herself using diapers more easily now and felt that her control was slowly going. She couldn't hold it as long. As she tried a few times when she was afraid her diaper would leak in a public place. And she felt herself peeing less and less. Pooping was different. She knew that was coming. And so did everyone else around as she had to assume a toddler spread-legged squatting stance to go. But she did it nonetheless. Her cloth diapers and plastic pants that her mother had ordered were coming any day now and she couldn't wait. She wanted to be free of the fear of leaking. In the meantime, they had been out shopping. Kelly's wardrobe was now much much more childish. Those that were too small were altered by her mother. Who Kelly thought of as a master seamstress. To Kelly's surprise, a package came one day that she thought were cloth diapers. But turned out to be something entirely different. Her mother smiled widely at the box and then turned and kissed Kelly affectionately on the head. Oh, I have some surprises for my little one. You are going to look so adorable. Not that you aren't adorable now. Kelly was standing there in a cute dress with little hearts on it and trying to peer into any small opening the box had very childlike. Mommy, what is it, huh? Her mother just smiled and led her daughter up to her room where she opened the box and took out the cutest outfits Kelly had ever seen. They were obviously for very little girls but also seemed to be in her size. They were frilly and had bows all over them. Some even came with frilly diaper covers as they were toddler style and would show off the diaper. There were party dresses and play dresses and sunsuits and other childish clothing. Sweetie, I found these on the internet and got them in your size. These are real toddler and little girl style clothes that I thought you might like. But whenever you wear them is up to you. Just when you are comfortable okay angel. She ran up and hugged her mother. Thank you, mommy. They are so pretty. Can I try one on now please please please? Her mother giggled and nodded. Kelly ran over to the laid out outfits and chose a pink dress. 
It was a little girl's party dress and was very frilly and puffy and soft. Her mother smiled and got Kelly undressed down to her diaper. She checked Kelly's diaper and after confirming she was still dry she dressed her. Afterward, she stood back and smiled. You look so precious Kelly. She hugged her daughter and followed her downstairs as she skipped away to show Jessica. Jessie Jessie. Look it, what mommy got me. Her sister walked out of the kitchen and had to catch the excited Kelly. Calm down lil sis. While you're excited. But look how pretty you are. Such a sweetie. She hugged Kelly and took her hand and lead her into the kitchen to eat the sandwiches she had made for them both. After Jessica washed Kelly's sticky hands, the rest of the day was spent modeling the new clothes her mother had gotten her. During this time, both Jessica and Mom noticed that Kelly was getting much more into being a little girl again. She was less restrained and her mother made note of it. She wasn't even really embarrassed about showing her diapers. Of course, this was only around family at the moment. They both hoped that her attitude would transfer to the outside world as well. The only thing that worried Mom was that she didn't want her daughter to be made fun of. She didn't think that her behavior would be a problem or her childish clothes for that matter. She could pass as younger than she really was without a problem. The only problem was the diaper and the very very young looking clothes she was now modeling. These might bring teasing. However, she did have a plan if Kelly ever brought up wearing those clothes outside. As for the diaper, it didn't really show. The cloth diapers would be thicker and show underpants or shorts. But dresses and skirts would still be fine. She was brought out of her thoughts as Kelly jumped into her lap and gave her a hug. Mom held her close and gave her a kiss on the forehead. She loved her little girl. The next day was the first time Kelly woke up wet without knowing she peed during the night. Kind of. She was half awake when it happened. Her mind didn't register fully what she was doing. She felt pressure and something puffier between her legs than her panties. She let go without really thinking and went back to sleep. So it was half without knowing it. In fact, since she wasn't prepared for it, she didn't adjust her posture to avoid leaks and she got the bed a little wet. The diaper was made for toddlers after all. This got her in a good mood since she felt more like the little girl she was acting and being treated like. She almost had a real accident in her sleep. Her mother was thankful that Kelly had thought to protect the mattress with a plastic cover after she started wetting again. She didn't even think the diapers would leak since they hadn't yet. She mentally reprimanded herself for being stupid and reminded herself to tell Kelly that she was a good girl for thinking of the mattress cover. Still, she didn't blame Kelly. After all, her little girl couldn't help it as far as she knew. And this was actually closer to the truth now. She was thankful that the cloth diapers and plastic pants were scheduled to come the next day. Because of this, Kelly decided to wear shorts that day. She didn't want to wear them out after the diapers got there since people would be able to tell. They were all going to the beach today anyway so shorts seemed appropriate. They all got to the beach and of course, the two girls wanted to get right to the sand to play. They dragged their mother along and she couldn't help but smile. She loved Kelly this way again. S. He was no longer stressed about acting mature and her little girl side was taking over her actions again. She was just like Jessica and sometimes even more so. Especially when it comes to the potty. Catherine thought with a slight smile as she noted the very slight bulge in Kelly's shorts. Once they got there. Kelly was the first to be jumping up and down, asking to go play. Sweetie, we need to get you all nice and ready first okay? You need sunblock to keep from getting burnt and I need to get your bathing suit on. Come on Angel, we have to go to the bathroom over there to get changed. Kelly nodded and took her mother's hand which was surprising to Catherine. She noticed that Kelly was acting younger today than usual. She was actually happy about this since it meant that Kelly was less and less self-conscious about her new youngest child in diaper's role. Jessica took hold of Kelly's free hand and they all walked toward the bathroom. Inside the ladies' room. 
Jessica went off on her own to change into her suit right away and Catherine was about to do the same when she felt a little tug. She turned around and noticed Kelly looking a bit nervous. What is it Angel? Kelly looked at her and asked. Mommy, I need to be changed too. Don't leave me alone. Catherine only needed a minute to realize that Kelly was really into her role and didn't want to be left alone and needed help changing. She smiled, I'm sorry sweetie. I didn't know you wanted mommy's help. Come with me. She didn't wait for Kelly this time and took her daughter's hand. There was a changing area but Catherine didn't want to show off her daughter's diapers to everyone there so she began to lead Kelly into the handicapped stall so she had enough room to change her. Kelly pulled on her hand and Catherine stopped. Kelly was red-faced but finally managed to say. Mommy it's okay. I want to change in the changing room. That's where you are supposed to change and I'm just little so it's okay for me to be in diapers right mommy. All the other little girls in diapers are being dressed in there. She looked down at her feet but her mother lifted her head with her hand so they were eye to eye. I'm really happy that you are not afraid to be little again but I don't want to embarrass you, honey. Don't do this for me. Only for you. Do you really want to change there? I won't lie to you angel. People will probably see you and even though you are a little girl they don't see that. They see a big girl in diapers which they might see as strange. But I will also make sure to check for people in our neighborhood before I start to change you so no one will know who you are. Are you still okay with this? Kelly thought a little and finally nodded. Catherine smiled and led her back to the changing area. My big girl is finally growing down. She thought to herself and couldn't help but let out a small giggle. Jessica was a little surprised when she saw her sister come into the changing room with her mother. Both of whom were still not changed. Of course, once her mother winked at her and started taking Kelly's shoes off for her. Jessica understood and let out a big smile, running over to her sister. Hiya little sis. Ready to go out and play soon. She tussled Kelly's hair and made her giggle. Catherine smiled as she pulled Kelly's shirt over her head. She didn't see anyone. She knew but noticed already the confused stares coming her way. No doubt because the other women were wondering why someone of her years needed help undressing. She was a little worried for her daughter but knew they would never see these people again. Soon Kelly was just in her shorts and a diaper. Catherine whispered. You ready Kel? Kelly nodded and so her mother unzipped her shorts and brought them down. Fully exposing the diaper. There were some very confused looks but no one was rude enough to say anything to Catherine's relief. She was glad the diaper was dry at least. She got out the new extra cute one-piece suit she had bought for Kelly and put it on her. The diaper was obvious through the suit but Kelly no longer seemed to care. She was smiling in anticipation of going out to play. Her mother finished with a kiss to Kelly's forehead. Okay, I have to change now but you girls can go back to our beach umbrella and blanket we set up to play. Jessica watches Kelly and both of you stay right here until I come back okay. Good girls. Have fun. They tore out of the changing area and got back to the umbrella in record time. Kelly and Jessica began making a sandcastle and when their mother returned. She took out a little sippy cup and gave it to Kelly. Here is some apple juice sweetie. Drink it so you don't get too hot and get all thirsty. Kelly smiled at how childish she was being treated. She began to take sips in between patting sand down onto the sand mound that was to be a castle. Suddenly, they heard. Catherine. Is that you and your girls? What a surprise. A woman carrying an umbrella followed closely by a sweet-looking toddler girl and an older teenage girl approached. Cindy. How are you? It's been so long. I haven't seen you since you moved away two years ago. Wow. Ashley and Samantha have really grown. How old are they now? The other woman smiled and said. As they were talking, Little Samantha walked over to Kelly and Jessica and Ashley followed her little sister keeping an eye out for her. She plopped down beside Kelly and smiled at her. Can I help too? 
Kelly smiled and said of course she could. Hold on there Sammy girl. Let me change you first. Ashley picked Samantha up off the group. Took off her dress and replaced it with a cute pink t-shirt that was worn and obviously for play purposes only. Her diaper showed from under the shirt since she wasn't wearing anything else. She knelt down and began to help before stopping and looking at Kelly. I like your bathing suit. It's really pretty. Kelly smiled and thanked her. Let's be friends okay. I know you're really little like me. But I've never seen such a big girl in diapers before. That's okay though but you should try no suit cause it's more comfy. See like me. She pointed to her exposed diaper. Giggled, and went back to work, not paying any more attention and apparently not phased about Kelly's diapers. Ashley and Cindy both overheard and noticed what they overlooked before. Catherine. Why is she still in diapers? Ashley walked over to, S. Till keeping an eye on the kids but wanting to hear what the explanation was. Catherine knew this would come out eventually and so she wasn't taken by surprise. Well, Kelly recently began to start having accidents again and they kept getting worse and worse. I am sure she is like your Samotha in her control right now. There isn't anything medically wrong with her. She seems to like being treated like a little girl again. I am glad to do it if that's what makes her happy. Catherine paused and Cindy smiled. Well I don't have any problem with it. It isn't hurting anyone and if she needs them there isn't much you can do. I do have to say that she is rather cute looking like that though. They both laughed and Ashley went back over to the kids. Kelly honey, come here would you? Kelly had been nervously watching the others and walked over with Samantha in tow. Jessica followed, ready to defend her sister. Don't worry sweetheart. No one here cares that you wear diapers. I don't like seeing cute little girls looking all sad okay. I know like my little sister that you are like her and can't help it. Besides, you look adorable. In fact, I can tell you are a bit uncomfy in that suit and diaper. Why don't you let me dress you like Samantha? I have an extra shirt we brought that should fit you perfectly. It's an old one of mine. Okay. Samantha jumped up and down. Yeah yeah. We can be twins. Please Kelly. Kelly nodded happily and Jessica smiled at her little sister. Ashley grinned. Okay Angel. Oh, and I am going to treat you just like Samantha. Which I am sure is okay with you. So feel free to come to me if your mommy is busy and I will change you or dry you or anything else you need. Okay little one. Kelly nodded and ran up and hugged Ashley. Oh. You are so cute. Okay now hold still. She took off Kelly's suit and slipped a shirt over her head. Now her diaper was showing just like Samantha's. She thanked Ashley and ran back over to play along with Samantha and Jessica. Ashley went over and explained what she did to Catherine who thought it was cute and didn't mind at all if Kelly had no problem with it. Soon, Samantha and Kelly were both wet since they both kept getting apple juice from Catherine who had brought an extra sippy cup that she gave to Samantha. They went to get changed. Ashley insisted on changing them both since she thought Kelly was adorable. She taped up Kelly and patted her diaper. All set kiddo. Kelly giggled and went back to playing. The day at the beach was going really well for all involved. Kelly and Samantha were getting along wonderfully. They were very alike and Samantha accepted Kelly as her little kid equal with no questions. Of course since Kelly was in reality relearning what it was like to be a little girl. She began to copy Samantha which every thought was cute. Cindy was happy since Kelly was really Samantha's first friend. Since they were moving back into the area because of her divorce from her husband. She even volunteered to babysit for Kelly and talked of play dates for the kids. Ashley was also loving another little girl to play with. The only one feeling rather left out was Jessica. She played with her sister but felt a little neglected now that Kelly had a new friend and was getting a lot of attention. At one point, she even excused herself to go to the bathroom and instead went behind the building and cried. 
She loved having a little sister and was happy for her, so she was kind of mad at herself for being upset. However, she was only six and she couldn't help but feel left out. She was even a little jealous that her new little sister was paying more attention to Samantha, although she couldn't help it. She even thought for a second that she should start having accidents too to get attention from everyone. So her sister would play with her more. She remembered that she hated diapers and feeling wet and messy. Which was why she was so adamant about not being put back in diapers when she began peeing her pants again. She thus pushed the idea aside. She would hate diapers. But still, she wanted to be close to her sister. Suddenly, she heard her sister's voice calling her and crying. Jessica, Jessie. Big sis. Where are you? She was running around crying and drawing attention to herself and her diaper. She didn't care, however. Jessica then realized how long she had been there. She came out and ran to her sister. I'm here Kel, I'm here. What's wrong honey? Kelly latched onto her. I was so scared when I couldn't find you. I want to play with you and thought you left. I love you, sister. Don't leave. Jessica then realized that she was just being selfish and only saw the negatives. She had been playing with her sister. She began crying herself, telling her sister that she was a good girl and the best little sister ever and how sorry she was. Needless to say, they both went back, everyone was happy again. Jessica told herself to stop being stupid and just have fun. At the end of the day, Kelly and Samantha had become attached to each other and didn't want to go. They did so under many tears but cheered up again when they were told that they could play together often if they wanted. Catherine buckled Kelly up into the new car seat she got her and kissed her forehead. You are a good girl, today sweetheart. Oh you played with Samantha so well. I think you deserve an ice cream. And I think Jessica does too for being such a good big sister. They both shouted happily at the prospect of getting a sweet, delicious treat. On the ride to the ice cream shop, Catherine hit a pothole, which sent a jolt through the car. Kelly suddenly felt her diaper getting warm. She looked down shocked to know that the bump had made her start wetting without her knowing it. Soon I really will need diapers, she thought. Jessica noticed her sister's odd expression and immediately felt her diaper to find it wet. Mom, Kelly wet her diaper and needs changing. Jessica turned red at hearing her sister announce it and said. I had an accident, sorry mom. Catherine shook her head and laughed, Kelly, you need to get over that. It's not an accident. The diapers are there so you can use them. You don't use the potty anymore since you need diapers. There is nothing wrong with using them. When you want to be potty trained like your big sister. Just let me know, but for now, don't worry. Just say, I'm wet, or even just, wet, if you are feeling especially little. Don't be embarrassed. Just watch your friend Samantha. She doesn't get all upset and call it an accident. And what happened to my sweet little girl? You sounded more grown up just then. Kelly smiled. Mommy, I love you. Catherine smiled. There she is. Okay honey. I'll change you at home if you want to wait or I can do it when we stop to get ice cream if you feel icky. Kelly said. I can wait mommy. Catherine grinned. Good girl. Okay, here we are. Jessica helped Kelly out of her car seat and she put on one of her mother's t-shirts so her diaper would be covered. Once they all had a cone, they sat on a bench and started eating. Once finished. Kelly suddenly stood up and looked nervous. Mommy, I have to. You know. Catherine smiled. You have to go number two right? Well, I can take you if you want, since you caught it. I can see how you might feel nervous in front of all these. Kelly. Where are you going? Kelly suddenly ran behind a big tree out of view. Jessica giggled, I think she couldn't stop it. I'll go check her. Jessica found Kelly standing like a very embarrassed toddler mite. She smelled it. It's okay Kel. 
Come on, mommy can change you. Catherine was already in the van getting a diaper out. I don't think we can wait anymore, sweetie. Hop up. Once Kelly was changed, they headed home. A box was waiting for them at the front door when they arrived home. Catherine smiled at her daughter. Kel, I think the cloth diapers are here. Wanna try one on? Kelly nodded and so her mother took the box inside while Jessica led Samantha up to her room by the hand. Catherine soon came in and began unpacking the box. It was full of fluffy diapers, most of which had very cute. Colourful pictures and patterns on them. She also pulled out various pairs of underwear that looked to be made of plastic. Catherine noticed her little girl's confused look and explained. These are plastic panties, honey. Cloth diapers don't have an outer covering on them as your disposable ones have so they leak. The plastic panties protect you from leaking. And aren't they cute? Kelly nodded happily. They were pairs of various colours and designs. Just like her diapers, and some were clear. Probably so she could show off the cute prints that some of her diapers came with. Catherine laid them all out and then said, Kelly, you can pick what you want to wear. Go on now little one. Kelly hopped down from her bed and looked over the diapers. They were so soft to the touch and she imagined that they were very comfy to wear. She ended up selecting a diaper that had fairies in various poses on it. Along with one of the clear plastic panties. Then she got up and ran to her closet. She returned holding a very cute toddler play dress. Some cute socks with ruffles on them. Little girl style shoes, and some cute hair clips for her hair. Catherine looked surprised. You really want the whole treatment don't you Angel? Okay then. Arms up sweetie. She removed Kelly's beach t-shirt and then told her is down on the changing mat. She removed the disposable diaper that was not yet dirty and sprinkled some baby powder on Kelly. Then she slid the diaper under her daughter and brought the front up. Fastening the Velcro tabs the diapers came with she was fond of. They meant less work at diaper changing time in a snugger fit. She then slid the plastic pants on. While she was still laying down. Her mom put on Kelly's socks and shoes for her, then told her to stand. Kelly felt the soft diaper between her legs and smiled. It was so thick and made her feel even smaller. She imagined this was how real toddlers experience diapers. As the disposable ones were a bit too small for her. Her mother slipped the dress over her head and then fixed her hair into a little girl style with the hair clips. Catherine stood back. You look so sweet Cal. She kissed her daughter on the cheek and told her to go play while dinner was getting ready. Kelly ran out of the room to find Jessica. When Kelly got downstairs. A surprise was waiting for her. Samantha ran out of nowhere and gave her a hug. Hiya Kelly. Guess what? Mommy said I you could sleep over tonight. Can you can you? Please say yes. Mommy says she knows you a little too and would be nice to you and my big sister is gonna be gone and I wanna have a friend over and we can watch movies and please. Kelly hugged back and started jumping up and down. EA. Course I wanna come over. You're my new best friend after all. They both jumped around a little while Cindy pulled a confused Catherine to the side. I'm sorry for barging in like this but Samantha was so upset about leaving Kelly that I didn't have the heart to turn her down when she asked for a sleepover. I hope it's okay. Catherine smiled. Of course. Kelly would love it. And her big sister will be away tonight at a sleepover too so Kelly will be lonely all alone. Cindy smiled. Great. I just want to make sure with you that it is okay to treat Kelly like a toddler. I don't want to treat her differently from Samantha. Catherine smiled and motioned for Kelly to come to her. Kelly honey. I know you want to sleep over at Samantha's tonight and it's okay with me. But if you do, you can't be a big girl okay. Mrs. Tillman is going to treat you like Samantha which means you will be a three-year-old toddler tonight okay. And you will listen to her. Kelly nodded, aha mommy. I'll be a good girl. 
Catherine kissed her daughter and went up to pack some things. Kelly arrived at Samantha's house and they both immediately ran off to play. Ashley heard the commotion of the two girls and came down. Wow. Hi there Kelly sweetie. I didn't know you came over to play. You look so cute. Kelly ran over and gave her a quick hug. Yeah, I'm sleeping over tonight. Ashley looked down, ooh. Now I want to stay. Wait. Let me give my friends a call. Ashley ran out and Kelly shrugged. A few minutes later. Ashley came running back in holding the phone and smiling. Hey girls. Do you two mind if my friends come over here tonight? Please? Mom said it'd be okay if you two don't mind. Kelly, my friends are so sweet and they would love you so you don't have to worry. They'll treat you just like Sammy here. Kelly thought about it, then nodded her approval. EA. Big sister's friends are so nice and they play with me all the time. Samantha was jumping around. Ashley giggled and told her friends to come over. Kelly had a great night. Ashley wasn't lying. Her friends adored her and they all had so much fun together. They took turns holding her and Samantha in their laps and even cuddled them during the Disney movie they watched. Kelly was a little embarrassed when she wet her diaper on Ashley's lap. But she was sweet and changed her into a comfy warm one right away. They didn't even mind when she pooped her diaper. They just treated her like any other toddler. She was so happy. Samantha and Kelly slept together in Samantha's bed that night. Snuggled close together. She felt so much like a little girl and in the morning. She didn't even mind when she woke up wet. She was losing control and probably would now wet the bed if she was taken out of them. Even during the day, she couldn't hold it long. Soon that would go too. She finally knew that morning when she woke up to a kiss on the forehead and a diaper change by her mother who had come to pick her up that she had what she wanted. She was a little girl again. Kelly had been in diapers for the past two and a half months. She now was like any other toddler in that she couldn't tell when she needed to pee and wet her diaper without control. She had so gotten into the new little girl role that she could barely even keep from pooping her pants either. The summer had been great for her. She was now totally comfortable acting small outdoors and dressing childishly. Unfortunately, she still had to go to school, and high school was fast approaching. When her mother first gently brought up the subject, Kelly immediately began to cry and ran to Samantha and clung to her, saying that she was going with her best friend to daycare, not high school. She wasn't a big girl, and didn't want to act like one again. Catherine was at a loss of what to do. She doubted any daycare would take Kelly no matter how hard she tried and she still couldn't ignore the fact that Kelly was supposed to start high school either. She thought that short of a miracle, there was nothing that could be done. She had to force her daughter to go to high school. She hated doing it and Kelly cried for days. But she made it to the first day of school. Diaper and all hidden under her clothes. Unfortunately, things did not go well for Kelly. Kelly wanted badly to go with Samantha. She and Samantha got together the day school started for breakfast and had a good time until reality came knocking. In a fit of tears, Kelly had to be dragged away from Samantha and upstairs to be changed into more age-appropriate clothes. As Kelly was a heavy wetter, Catherine had bought her thick disposable diapers for school. Thin ones would not do and cloth was way too thick. Thus, Kelly had to wear a skirt or dress in order to hide the diapers. Kelly kept pointing to the childish dresses but her mother had to put her foot down today. Kelly had very much regressed in behaviour and was acting so much like a small child that Catherine was worried for her sweet little girl. She didn't want her to be teased. Catherine had to put her foot down no matter how much she hated doing it. Kelly. Please. Do you want to be teased? I'm sorry honey, but these are the way things have to be. You need to go to school and you can't belittle there, honey. It's high school, not a daycare. No matter how much you wish, that can't change. 
Kelly teared up and shot her mother a pleading glance as if there was something she could do. Catherine almost cried herself, Honey. I'm sorry. I at least want you to know that if I could make you my little girl full time all the time again, I would. Here, at least you can wear this cute dress. It's more grown up but at least it's still fun. Okay. Kelly nodded slowly, finally taking it all in. Catherine smiled and lifted her daughter up on the bed to change her out of her cloth diaper and into a disposable one. She chatted while changing the diaper. Now honey, mommy will come to school during your lunch break to change you. I've told the school that you need to be given medicine and that I will come every day to give it to you. You should get a permanent lunchtime pass to come to see me in the parking lot. I'll change you in the car. Okay hon. Kelly nodded. Good girl. Stand up. Arms to the sky. Good girl. Now sit back down and let mommy get your footsies ready. She tickled her daughter's feet and received a high-pitched giggle. After her shoes and socks were on, Kelly ran downstairs to get a few more minutes of playing time with Samantha. Soon, however, they had to leave. The car ride over was long for Kelly. She dreaded going to high school. Kelly had always been a very friendly girl. However, she was teased a lot because she was so nice. Because she moved a lot when her father and mother were still together. She never had a chance to make any real friends. Thus, she didn't really have any true friends at school. She had Samantha. But she was at daycare now and Kelly was all alone. As soon as she walked in the door, she got a comment on her little girl dress from a bunch of smartly dressed juniors. Another in her grade laughed and wondered when they started letting kindergartners into high school. Some even asked if she needed a diaper change. Not knowing that they were close to the truth. Her classes were okay. But she hated them and didn't want to learn them. She was just a little girl. Her diapers held up to the wetting she gave them in algebra and thankfully. No one noticed. In the halls between classes were the worst. She made it to lunch and ran to her mother's waiting car in tears. She said how the others were making fun of her and how she talked and acted and how they were all meanies. Catherine held her close. Fearing this would happen. She gently changed her daughter's soap diaper and noticed that she was sucking her thumb. Catherine smiled and got in the car with her and closed the door. Sweetie, I have a surprise for you. This will help you relax. Crawl into my lap and lay back. Here, honey, open up. Catherine brought out some jars of soft food and began feeding them to Kelly. Afterwards, she got out a bottle to Kelly's surprise and let her suck on it. I got the food and bottle from Samantha's daycare, so you didn't feel all alone. Samantha misses you. After Kelly's lunch. Kelly had to go. Catherine promised to pick her little girl up right after school since Jessica carpooled to and from her school with a friend every day. Kelly went back into school, where the worst was yet to come. Kelly was in her second to last period class when she felt it. She had to poop. Bad. She raised her hand, but before she could get the teacher to see it. She had started filling her diaper. Kelly, what is it? Kelly said it was nothing. But then the girl behind her chipped in saying. You. I bet she had to go to the bathroom, until she went in her pants. The whole class laughed and Kelly got up in embarrassment and ran to the door. Which was the wrong idea. One of the meaner girls put her foot out and Kelly tripped on it. She started to fall but caught herself on a chair. Unfortunately, this movement made her skirt fly up and revealed her filling diaper to the entire class. They roared with laughter and even the teacher couldn't control them. Kelly continued to run and eventually burst out of the school and into the near woods. Her mother was called when she couldn't be found. Catherine was enraged at her daughter's treatment. But she was more concerned about her safety. Jessica even came to look. Ultimately, it was Samantha who found her. Knowing that Kelly had a favorite tree she hid under in the forest. 
she was found curled into a ball crying her eyes out and saying how it wasn't fair and that she wasn't a high schooler. She got hugs all around and a tearful Samantha wouldn't let her go. See? I told you she should come with me sniff. Mrs Yoda is really nice and said my friend could come. You are all mean. Catherine couldn't help feeling that Samantha was right. She hated herself. Kelly was calmed down and was soon asleep cuddled up with Samantha. I just don't know what to do Cindy. I don't want Kelly hurt anymore. Cindy sighed. Kelly won't do well in high school. I know. She's not ready yet. Have you ever considered homeschooling? I have an idea. Samantha was right. Mrs. Yoda who runs the daycare is a very nice lady. I bet she would have no problem letting Kelly join in. She could be registered as a toddler and be given the same treatment. I am almost certain. She has taken on younger ones before. Why not older? As long as she is given your permission, it's okay. Second, you could study with Kelly after daycare when you get home from work. If she is allowed to be herself, she will be able to learn. Just teach her like you would a little child. Just substitute in high school material. Catherine thought about it and grinned. That might work. I do teach elementary school. I can teach my daughter just like I do my first graders, just with different material. Are you sure about Mrs. Yoda? Cindy nodded. Let's call her right now. Mrs. Yoda was indeed very accommodating. She would take on Kelly tomorrow. She would be treated like enlisted as a two-year-old, younger than Samantha. Since Kelly seemed to like her bottle and then and they only gave bottles to the two-year-olds and under. After that was done, they set up taking Kelly out of school and began preparing a homeschool curriculum to follow high school. Kelly jumped for joy when she was told what they had done. Samantha giggled when they told her she would be a two-year-old. You're like my little sister now hee hee. Kelly blushed, but smiled. Tomorrow would be lots more fun. The next day, Kelly woke up before anyone else. She ran around giggling until Jessica caught her and gave her a hug and a kiss. You happy about daycare little one? Kelly nodded happily. Hee hee, thought so. Well, you're up really early. So I figure I can get you ready now if you want and you'll have lots of time to watch your cartoons. Before Samantha and her mommy get here. Okay. Kelly again nodded. EA. Big sis is gonna get me ready. Come. Kelly dragged Jessica to her room and stood in the middle. Kay, mommy said that I should wear clothes for little girls to fit in with everyone. Um. Can you pick out something? Please? Jessica smiled. Kelly had even begun to alter her speech to fit a small child's. Okay sweetie. Let me see. Oh. Here. This one is adorable. Jessica held up a pink and white little girl's play dress. It was toddler style, meaning it was short and showed off the cute diaper cover that came with it. Okay, honey. Hop up. Kelly got on her bed and Jessica proceeded to get Kelly out of her wet night diaper and into a dry cloth diaper. She then slid the cover over and told Kelly to stand up. She pulled off her nightgown and slipped on the dress. All set? Now let's fix your hair. Jessica put Kelly's hair into a very cute little girl style. With two little pink bows forming the hair into pigtails. Kelly giggled and squirmed around since she was so excited. Wow. You are just so cute. Betcha you'll be the cutest one there. Now let's get you fed. Downstairs, Jessica fixed Kelly some oatmeal and insisted on sitting Kelly on her lap and feeding it to her. Kelly didn't complain and Jessica couldn't get enough of her sister getting more adorable each day. Their mother came down and smiled when she saw Jessica feeding Kelly. Jessica, you are such a good big sister. You got her all ready for the day and she looks so cute. Good morning girls. Kelly hopped off of Jessica's lap and ran over and hugged her mom. Morning mommy. 
Jessica was really really nice and got me all readily fed me and she held me Andy love her lots. With that, she ran back to Jessica and gave her a big hug. Jessica actually started crying. Sweetie, I love you too. You are the best little sister ever. As if to add to the excitement. Samantha burst in the door and ran over to Kelly, who promptly got down and hugged her friend. Kelly. Ready, huh? That'll be lots of fun. Right? Kelly nodded. Samantha turned to Catherine and Jessica. Don't worry, I'll keep little Kelly safe since I'm three and she's only two. They all got a laugh out of that. Cindy spoke up, Catherine, I can take the girls. We should get going so Mrs. Yoda can meet Kelly and show her around. Catherine shook her head. That's okay. I want to go to and see my little one off the first day at least. Kelly can ride with you though. Jessica, come with me and we'll head over to school afterward. Both cars pulled up in front of the daycare building. A kind-looking old lady came out and greeted everyone. Ah Cindy. How are you today? You are the first ones here. I see little Samantha is looking happy today. And this little one hiding behind her must be Kelly. Good morning sweetie. You don't have to be scarred. Everyone is nice here. Give me a hug little one, that way. We'll be friends from now on. Kelly got out from behind Samantha. Looked at Mrs. Yoda, and then smiled and gave her a hug. That's a girl. See? And this must be your mommy. Hi, I'm Christina Yoda. Catherine smiled. Catherine Whitman. Thank you so much for taking care of my little girl. She was so happy that you would take her. Mrs. Yoda smiled. Oh, no trouble. She seems very sweet. And don't worry, she won't be treated any differently than my other toddlers. With that, Mrs. Yoda reached down and checked Kelly's diaper. Still dry. But I should say that we use disposable diapers here for two-year-olds and under unless a parent has a special preference. It's easier for changes. And unless they are potty training. And mommies are using cloth so that their children will feel wet when they go potty in their pants. We feel disposables are just as good. Don't worry, we carry diapers for all sizes of little ones that we take care of. Is it okay to change Kelly here into disposable diapers once she uses this one? Catherine nodded. Oh yes. I just didn't know if you would have diapers that fit her. But I have no problems with disposables. Kelly doesn't use the potty at all yet. Mrs. Yoda smiled. Okay then. Kelly, sweetheart, are you ready for the tour? Kelly smiled and nodded. Mrs. Yoda took her hand and led her inside. This is the main area. As you can see. We have mats for all the children for nap time. Various toys and activities are available to the children and volunteers are on hand to play with and help the children. Over there is the changing area. This area around the rocking chair is Storyland, where the children are read to. Outside in the back is the playground. The swings for the little ones of course lock so that they don't fall out. Don't worry Kelly dear. You should fit into everything perfectly fine. During lunchtime, the three to five year olds can eat by themselves and food is provided. The two and under children, like Kelly, are fed soft and all baby foods and then given a bottle. Usually, they are put to sleep after the bottle. Healthy snacks are provided during the day as well. That's about it. Kelly was all smiles and Catherine kissed her on the forehead. Looks wonderful. Kelly. I'll see you after I get back from school okay? Be a good girl. After some more hugs, Catherine, Jessica, and Cindy left.